Well, all right. Well, we had a good day the other day. We got a lot of that done. I realize I remembered I still got to do a little bit of welding here and here, but we'll deal with that when we kind of repaint the front end. We'll address those few things. I'm questioning whether I'll shorten up these mount tabs because these had a weird bushing inside. It would give it a little bit of a cleaner look, but I don't know if I'll put too much care because mostly if that shock does bottom out, it might need that breathing room so it doesn't smash into stuff. So maybe I'll leave it. I don't know. Me. We'll think about that after. Uh, what are we doing? Well, I don't know if I have any exhaust pipe, but we could kind of work the muffler system, try to figure that out. And then do these headers the way I want and brakes and maybe plumb the fuel. I don't know. That wouldn't be too bad. That would kind of get us like in the ballpark of actually trying to fire this thing up. This thing actually overall is actually coming together way better than I thought. I do have to address this rad because it is on this bracket, but I'd like to make something a little prettier down there just to give it some support. Right now it's just a an elbow to which I think I have to weld up better yet. I don't remember, but maybe we'll doll up some bracket on there. Uh, I think in the big picture, when I do mount the rad, I'll probably make an insert and I think I'll do a, a dimple dyed kind of an insert just to do something different. Not that that's never been done before, but I think that'll clean up the front nice. Uh, yeah, I guess we just tackle one thing at a time here. I think I want to put the master cylinder on. Let's run brake lines. Let's get that stuff kind of out of the way. That's not the fun stuff. Probably run a fuel line from the tank. We're going to come along the frame rail back. And we'll have to do, like eventually we'll do the battery cable and stuff. But we won't worry about that right now. Let's just do some basic plumbing for some brakes. And... Uh, Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Sure, why not? It's got to get done regardless, so now is better than never, right?
All right, well, that's not too bad. I think that took me longer to find a nut to fit on this hose than anything else. And I was able to recycle my screwed up piece that I cut before. So it was the right size for that flange. So that's good, we got that on there. Boom, 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 we got our brake line attached there. We ran a fuel line over this way, mounted the fuel pump here. I don't have a filter, so eventually we'll be able to put a filter in this. Uh, rear lines are in. We ran the fuel line up, but I don't know what I'm doing with it up there yet. Front lines, I'm gonna wait till I can move these hoist pads and then I can screw the lines down. So I'll bring it down and kind of show what I did up top. Okay, so upstairs, again, haven't tied anything anywhere, but I kind of just doodled this fuel line around. I'm gonna sort of follow along the side of the brake line. It'll come up here and I'll be able to just loop it over to the carb. Should be fine, I don't know. Still have to get this out so I can put a plug in there. It's not running a heater with this one. Um, over here we ran, well, we got both of our lines sitting here. Again, everything, well, nothing's tight and we don't have the P-clamps up in the front area, but so we got our brakes going back, our little T there, this there. I have to get some plugs for this side because they're open. So on these masters, you can use either side. So and I still have to bench bleed it, but I'll have to work on the inside to get a pedal thing working. I don't have a push rod or anything for that. I did find randomly in my junk bin this which fits nice into the master cylinder. I just need to make an end that is adjust to, well, I don't know if it has to adjust, but I need an end on here. Oh, I think about it. Maybe I can go to Princess Auto and get a, a Heim that'll fit on here that I can attach to the brake line or the brake pedal. And then I can have some adjustability for pedal height. Cool. Just thought of that. But they're not bled yet, but we got our brakes are all in. I'm not sure what or how bad anything leaks yet, but we'll have to address that at a later time. So that's not too bad. Now, what do we work on next? I mean, we do have to get a battery cable up to the front. I don't know if I'm gonna do that now, but I did have still some jumper cables lying around. So some heavy ones that were on sale at Princess Auto. So I think I got more than enough to run the length of the car. Should be good. And those headers look cool, but not cool at the same time. Nah, eh, we'll have to figure that out. That would be so nice if I could suck that in like I wanted to do. Just this side does not cooperate. Does not. See, watch this. Huh. Maybe I lied. Oh. Well, this should go under more. Ah, eh, we'll see. Maybe I'll work on the headers next. It should be pretty easy. Just a big wedge cut and get that flange straight and then burn it up again. Ideally, it would be to get these out, but I don't know how good they're welded in there because it'd be nice just to bolt the flanges on and then be able to push the pipe in, tack it, and then weld it from the inside. But mm, we will see what we come up with here. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to carve out the insides and uh, then we can just re-push the pipes in at, at the new angle. All right. Well, we didn't get a lot done. We made a few brackets for some stuff and uh, well, that's about as far as we got. Um, so I'm pretty much going to get that mounted up and then we'll find a throttle cable. We kind of stabbed the carb on. Um, ran that line, whatever, this is how my fuel line's running. We got it over on that side. Nothing's P-clamped yet. I think what I'm going to do for now, I don't know if I really like that thing. But I'm going to cut the center out of this thing so I can just use one of these and if a feller gets a four barrel they'll be able to put that on it. So this will sit the proper middle. We'll get that thing to sit on top. I picked up a filter today. 
a buddy had some Chinesium valve covers, so we're going to put those on and uh, at least doll up the top of the motor. It'll look a little prettier, anywho. I'll have some hoses. I'll have to pull this off. I don't have, because we're running the electric pump, I don't, uh, you can't run a mechanical pump with these kind of hearse mounts, I guess, whatever they're called. Uh, but I'm going to pull this off. We're going to weld this up so no oil leaks out. We're going to put our pulleys. We can do the pulleys on the front of the motor anyways. Um, and then let's work with the headers. Let's get these ready. We'll kind of just get some exhaust on it. I don't know if I'll run to the back yet. We'll see. Uh, there are no plates on the car. People think there are. <laughs> this is just to show how it's not so ugly if I just left it. There was nothing you see all that hanging under, but a feller had a plate on it. There you go. Cleans up the front end. At least that was the idea behind that. I got me a filter, so I hope this is the right size. Don't know for sure. I kind of just went with the biggest filter. So hopefully that fits in this thing. I don't know if they come any bigger. Oh, mint. So we'll work on that quick. I got tired of breaking motors and stuff, so I actually splurged and we got ourselves an injector cleaner. So that just came in. So now I'm on older motors that come, I can at least clean and make sure the injectors are good. So I also probably going to use it to try flowing some decaps. So we get the make some El Cheapo performance caps, I guess. That'll be the idea. All right, what are we doing first? I mean, whatever, we're gonna throw some shiny valve covers on. Let's quickly modify this thing. We will just hack this center out and uh, stick it into here. We'll tack it in so it'll be easy to take out. So if somebody throws a four barrel on here, they can just reuse that air cleaner and stuff. All right. Let's do that really quick. Let's throw some valve covers on it. It'll at least look pretty with our rattle can rebuild there. Um, and then we're gonna work on these exhaust manifolds and we're gonna try to get them to sit the way they're supposed to.
I screwed up. Well, I screwed up, but I didn't screw up. Anyways, I cut the flanges, but I ended up cutting them at the same angle, so they weren't right. Um, but that's okay. We got her. We trimmed it. We got them in. They're sitting at the angle I want. I've dropped it as much as I can. So uh, we're kind of like below the door now. Um, I can't go in anymore because I am just giving myself a little bit of breathing room for my steering. If you see past the headers there, we got a little bit of room. So that's good. This side's just tacked. We got the angle. So I did a tack bottom, top. I cut the flanges flush. I flipped the flanges around because uh, uh, usually the pipe would stick in and you weld it from the inside. If you weld it on the outside, you'll have a hard time getting your nuts on and stuff, your bolts through. So I just, I'll have to uh, longboard this thing to make sure it stays square, but pretty much I was able to push it back in, zap it, I flipped it, I burned it on the inside. So now when you file this, it's gonna be nice and straight and smooth, hopefully. And uh, we can bolt that on. So I was gonna do the exhaust, but a lot of people, I don't know, it depends where the car goes, I guess, but a lot of people like open header, they don't, I don't know, I don't mind it having a rumble, but not. I'll probably clean it up. I'm just gonna tack those on. I don't know that there's a point to finishing it because I don't know how some people are, whether they would want to, you know, basically have a side pipe and dump. I personally would like to go under, up, and out the back, but that's not a big deal to me. So we'll kind of leave the possibilities open for somebody. But still, I'm going to put it in. I'm going to tack it. It'll be fine. I got to put some P-clamps on all of this stuff. I got some plugs for the other side. So the only thing I need is, uh, uh, what do you call it? I need uh, a heim or an end for the push rod. But I still got to take this off and bench bleed it anyways. So that's not too big of a deal. Uh, but there should bolt the rad down. It's not bolted down yet, but I do want to. We got to finish welding this part, and then we got to weld this side. I didn't weld that one yet. Then we got to tighten stuff. This one I got to pull off, finish welding up, and then I think we can put our bracket and stuff on. I mean, these need to get painted, but I don't know. I don't know if I'll do it. Somebody else can do that. That's not the. That's not a lot of work. We got our shiny chinesium valve covers on. We got an air cleaner on. I don't know if I explained anything with that. So what we did, uh, or I did, I think I explained this, is we just tacked the, uh, the two barrel dealio on the inside there. So it looks the part, it'll be fine. I gotta go grab a throttle cable and pedal out of the shed so we can put that on. I think we're gonna clean up these points Almost looks like there'd be room to put an HEI, but down by air cleaners in the way. <laughs> so whatever, we'll clean up the points and we'll run that setup on there. We're kind of close to being able to fire it, so. But for now, oh yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna finish welding these up. I'm gonna tack, clean those up, just tack them into the pipes. I think I have some high heat paint, so maybe I'll, I'll hit them with some black paint uh oh we gotta do deal with this down here yet i gotta pull this off weld this shut so and pull the uh fuel pump rod out so it don't leak everywhere yeah and the way i was doing i just had uh, an indicator so i was kind of just doing the old dial indicator to make sure my headers were sitting at the same angle this one for some reason must be the way it's made it's got a little bit of a tweak in there so i'm basically gonna bolt it on once it cools and give it a, a rip out so it matches the other side. All right. Well, I'm going to pull the other side off, weld it up quick. Then I think I am. Um, I will tack the mufflers in. And then I'll probably just hang them, paint them, and then we can bolt them up after.
Well, we got one coat on the headers. Gonna let that kind of dry. Throw a second coat on eventually. Um, I think I'm gonna doodle around and smash the last couple things on the motor really quick. Uh, just to see. Well, I don't know if I'll really fire it this round, but we gotta do that. I'm somehow gonna figure out where to mount a transmission cooler. Because we still gotta get a fan in here somehow. Well, I don't know if I will, but I do want a tranny cooler in there. Um, or I should have one anywho. Eh? <laughs> I'll weld this up quick. We'll get some paint on it, throw it in there. We'll throw the belts and the pulleys on, or the pulleys and the belts. That's kind of the idea. Kind of get the motor all together. That's kind of the plan. I think I'll bolt the rad down. I will somehow make a quick mount for this thing. And then I guess I'll hit the shed and see if I can find some plug wires and stuff. We're gonna get those. I'm gonna put some clamps on, tighten this stuff up. Uh, probably pull this master off, bench it, try to get the brakes working. Yeah, I don't know. Won't be too bad. I mean, it's not that exciting of a video. But it is progress. That's one way you gotta look at it. Or at least I'm looking at it. Um, I need a sender or a sensor or something. I don't know if I have any of the sensors for that dash, so I might just plug it for now and uh, figure it out when uh, I figure out sensors that'll work with that dash cluster. Uh, yeah. Anywho. Waiting for paint to dry, then we bolt that on, and that's kind of permanent for now. I don't have any pipe, so I can't finish it. So we'll just leave it as it is. I decided to fully weld it. I'm like, man, if somebody doesn't like it, they can just burn around it and cut the pipes off and leave it as an open header or something if that's what they want to do. I don't know. All right. Well, let's slowly just mash through the last little bit of stuff here for the motor side. And uh, maybe I'll go upstairs and look what I have for a wiring harness to uh, wiring harness or something simple just so we can actually get it to fire up and things like that. Hopefully we can get that far in this video. All right, what have we done? There's lots of things you haven't seen. Uh, I put the tail lights in. Uh, pretty much just a couple screws, not a big deal. I made a bracket for my brake pedal. I didn't do a heim. I actually had a steel slug that was right. So I kind of have that mocked up. I just got to find a lock pin for this thing now, but at least this goes on. You'll have to trust me, that works like it's supposed to. I just gotta find a lock pin for that thing. So, 
we got our pedal, it does stop. I went in the shed, I found a gas pedal. I'll have to deal with that, just not right now. It's been a long day and I think that's as far as I'm gonna get. We got our headers painted, they're on. We got our alternator bracket in. We have our throttle linkagey stuff in. We got a, I found a cable, but we got that going. That is down. We have a cap. I still haven't found some wires. I got to do that yet. I did find some rad hoses. So we have those on. The radiator's mounted. Uh, we got a couple clamps on everything here and then the brake lines. I got to check to make sure the brake lines are tight yet. But I haven't bled them. I don't know if I'm going to get them bled this round. We'll see. Uh, yeah. We just got a lot of pesky little things done. It's kind of, it's kind of sucky that it, <laughs> for me, it feels like it took really long and I didn't have much to show you folks, but, uh, Hey, it's, it's progress. We're a couple steps closer. I feel in the next video, we're going to get the motor started and running. Cause we got some, I got some basic wiring for it. Uh, I have a harness here. Well, it's not a very good harness, but it should work for what I need. It doesn't run. This is not like a headlight to taillight kind of thing. Like stuff is labeled, but like, I don't know what this is. This is like wiper power radio. Like, I don't even know why it has crews. Like, you know, this is just terrible, but I mean, this one goes to the coil. So we have a few things. It should work for a basic harness for as basic as this car is. The only thing I don't like about that is I'll have to run my own wires to the headlights and taillights, but I'm not too concerned about that. Things are labeled well. That should be pretty easy to do. Oh, well, fortunately, I think this is as far as we get. Uh, I want to thank you folks for uh, watching, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one when we... Uh, Make some engine noises. I think that's the plan. We should be that close. At least I'm hoping so. Anyhow. Till the next one. Later.